<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, throw open your windows and call out to your neighbors. It's time for John Parada and Jessica Lee's weekly check-in. Sponsored in part by Silly String. Why? Because if it doesn't go your way, it's always good to have a can nearby. And now, your hosts, John Parada and Jessica Lee. Before we go, you reminded me with the Silly String. I won't mention the comic. It was at um, 12 Acres in Smithfield. I had a dinner comedy show, and this comic had a, this sprayed silly string, and this girl was on her cell phone in the front. She was married to a police officer. Uh-oh. This, this comedian's nuts. He gets the whole can of silly string and sprays it all on it. She's completely covered in it. I'm in the back of the room thinking, this is it. We're all done. He's crazy, crazy. Yeah, a whole can of silly string. My co-host, Jessica Lee. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Somebody actually silly stringed my my car one night when I was working at iParty and I came out and my my car was the only one in the parking lot that was covered in silly string. I was like, oh man. Je Jessica, before we introduce <laughs> our panel, this is the weekly check-in. I know you see patients on Zoom all week and now you got to take care of the comedians tonight. Are you up to the task? With this this panel, I, I don't know. I've been thinking about this all day. I'm like, this is rather questionable. This therapy session could go till three in the morning. Well, my therapist, Jay Burns, is here. So, um, and his, he looks like he's in a therapy office, too. I know. Jay's coming to us live from his office at Brown University. Right. Oh, the Butler campus. Let's introduce, <laughs> let's introduce our panel. Jessica, we couldn't have a panel like this. In a million years. Mike Cronin, the bad boy of comedy in the 90s turned Christian comic, owner of, co owner of uh, Laughter and Hope Ministries. We got very funny, my man Bernie Parati. We did a show hey. last summer, last July. It was 110 degrees. Remember oh, yeah. that, Bernie? I was sopping. <laughs> that was crazy. That lady called me back. She, she wants us uh, June of 2022. I gave her Steve Denuccio's number. <laughs> Steve Denuccio. <laughs> Is on the panel. She'll be calling you. Steve and Ochil. He draws, <laughs> he slices baloney, he tells jokes, he does it all. Steve sings, plays the piano. And then we got Jay Burns, the man, the myth, the comedy legend. What's up, Jay? Right. We'll start what with was, you. What's going on, Jay? You know, I was telling I was telling my friend the other day that when I was on the show and he made he brought it to my attention that I can actually do an impression of you, Steve, and Mike. And really, we could have just eliminated the three of you. I could just do the show with the three of you. Let's hear it. Let's hear, let's hear you do a quick little... Here it comes. Let, let's say you do a quick little talk of the three of us. Welcome to the Comedy Factory. Weekly check-in of your host, John Barada. Barada. Let's give it up for Steve Danuccio. Oh, hi. Welcome. I got to tell you, it's been a fantastic week. I've been slicing the bologna thinner than anything else. It's been amazing. You'll never understand it. It's a miraculous thing. <laughs> and I have to, all right, so for Mike Cronin, I have to say a specific phrase in order for me to do the Mike Cronin impression. Right? <clears throat> Jay Burns, but does he itch? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Do you itch, Jay? What's up? Do you itch? I'm not today. I don't. I'm I'm full of penicillin. Good, good, good. <laughs> Jessica, you got your hands full tonight. I know, I know. I, I can't help but see that Mike looks like he's just like screaming in the dark somewhere. <laughs> like, Mike is actually lost uh, outside. Like he's like you know, like CNN or Fox or MSNBC. Mike is coming from location. Biden's going to be pulling with a helicopter and chapat it, and Mike is in the woods waiting for him. I'm taking be... this whole Zoom show seriously and to a new level. New camera, curtain backdrops. I have more than one, and I have curtains on order. I'm getting a red one, a purple one. I am rocking it out. Oh, I can see a drone landed in my friggin' backyard now, right? Can you imagine that, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like an Amazon delivery with you. Oh, man. Bernie, we got a mess on our hands. What's going on with you with Somerset, buddy? Oh, not much. I'm just hanging down here uh, 
Just, I got a new mask. Want to see it? Yeah. I got a new mask for the coronavirus. Yeah, I'm going to wear this one now. My new mask. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty sharp, huh? It's sharp, but it doesn't cover your mouth, man. <laughs> it's, it's the perfect Steve Danuccio mask. It's amazing. It's the light that's on the It's an old box of masks on sale. On sale. Danuccio, what's going on at the, at the market? Uh, you got the dental business going. You're playing a piano. You're telling jokes. You're drawing pictures. Uh, you're like Sybil. You've got 15, 16 different personalities. You're doing all kinds of things all over the joint. My good friend, the late Buddy Cianci, used to call me the Renaissance man. I'm working right now on uh, Steamboat Willie. Um, he's um, November. will be um, 92 years, and I guess there's a big project going on with Steamboat Willie. So I've been doing Steamboat Willies until they come out of my ears, you know? Good. I did that when I was in high school. What's that? I did Steamboat Willies when I was in high school. It was really destructive. I was, I was, I, I was getting nervous. I didn't know if you did Steamboat Willie or what you would get me nervous there, Jay. I get <laughs> you nervous every time I talk, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what did I you do with Steve? What did you do with Steamboat Willie, Jay? What's that? It's a Steamboat Willie. You never heard of a Steamboat Willie? I haven't heard of a no. Steamboat Willie. No. Should I be embarrassed? Yes, you should. Wait till you hear it and you'd be really embarrassed. Come uh, on. Where you, you take a can of beef. No, I don't know what a Steamboat Willie is. <laughs> <laughs> I was going like, to say, I never oh, heard of it. Oh, my God. I was about to, like, start low-key, like, Googling on my phone, like, so I could be prepared for that. I don't know what it means, Jessica. <laughs> I, I do. Here's, here's, here's what I, I am as a person. If I don't know something, I am not afraid to raise my hand and say, Excuse me, what's a steamboat, Willie? So I'm <laughs> glad to know that I'm not the only one. So, Stephen, well, first let's go around the room and find out how many like me raise your hand if you don't know what a steamboat, Willie, is. Are you uh -huh. talking about the, the Mickey Mouse steamboat, Willie, or, or are we talking about Jay Burns' version of a steamboat, Willie? We're talking know. about Steve Danuccio drawing steamboat, Willie. Oh, so I have a steamboat, oh, that, yeah. Willie. I have, like, a stuffed, like, steamboat, Willie that Me I found, from, like, years ago. I love him. Yeah. So you know what it is. I don't I, I don't know who, what, or where it is. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, the is it original Mickey? Is it the first? first it was Mickey? the first Mickey. The yeah. first one. The first one. Okay. When you go to bed, do you cuddle him? It was more than a mouse, then came Steamboat Willie. Do you cuddle him, John Parada wants to know. Do you cuddle Steamboat Willie, Jess, when you go to bed? No. I have something. I have a, um, <laughs> I, well, I do have a body pillow, um, but I also have a giant stuffed thing. But it's not on my bed. It's, like, on the on the ground. But my entire family has a thing with, like, stuffed animals. I'm like, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. People gotta stop giving them to me because then I, like, I can't get rid of them. Like, once you give me a stuffed animal, I'm like, ah, I can't get rid of it. Like, it needs to, like, stay and it has, like, its own personality. It can't, yeah. It's not going to savers. Um, so don't buy me uh, any, more, any more things. People like to buy me stuffed animals and all sorts of stuff. And I don't have any more if, 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 one of, if one of the guys wanted to get you something, what kind of gift would you like, Jess? Just say someday we said, you know what, we're going to surprise Jess with a gift. What would you like? One of Steve Danuccio's pictures from The Wizard of Oz with Pink Floyd in the background. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I'll commission him to do it. We'll take care of it. We'll give it to you. But that would be like a very expensive gift. So you told me to pick anything. So that would that would probably. Can you do that, good. Steve? Can you do that? Do anything. Did you hear what she said? Oh yeah. Oh. She wants I'm pink. Going. She wants a steamboat Willie with a Pink Floyd in the back. <laughs> Oh, Wizard of Oz. No, of Oz. Not the Steamboat Willie. Oh, I, I got all excited. I thought, you want a Wizard of Oz. Which Wizard of Oz? You want the, the like, witch? Then, well, it's actually my backdrop on Facebook. My, my um, whatever the thing is at the top. It's like them walking towards like um, Emerald oh, City. But it's Emerald like, City. Dark Side of the Moon. But, um, but, but I mean, hey, if you want to make a picture of Steamboat Willie and Pink Floyd, like, please do. Like, please do that too. That would be fun. Do whatever you want. I can, I mean, I mean, I can make them diamond. walk toward the city of Providence rather than, you know, the work of the body. <laughs> yeah, make it interesting. Wow, yeah. that would be so cool. That would be so cool. I'm telling you. And we could turn the state house into the globe, you know. The yes. Or dollar at the end. Yes. You, you, could have, you could have Gina coming in over the independent man on the broom. I gone can I get that? 
Can I possibly get that instead of a picture? Or something, you know, a diamond, you know, just kept it simple. You know, now now we're drawing. I'm loving it, man. <laughs> It sounds we're like going to have a whole new show. We're going to have a Steve Denuccio's Art Think Tank Creative Sessions. Oh, man. There you go. One of the there rules is no politics. We got Gina Raimondo flying on a, on a room, you said? Yeah, but it's not politics because she's in the Wizard of Oz. She's playing a role, so it's it's make-believe. It, it's really not politics anyway because yeah. she really doesn't count as a governor, right, Steve? I, I'm going to behave. <laughs> I'm totally going to behave. I'm uh, not going there, all right? Gene has done some stuff I liked and some stuff I didn't like. But... And it's time well, right. for an intervention and to change the subject. <laughs> yes, we got to change the subject. Not touching it. Not touching it. We, we got to change the subject. You got a subject, Bernie? What do you want to talk about? What are you drinking over there? Miller Lights? Pause. Pause Light. Pause Lights. Better what, known hey. as uh, Poland Springs. Exactly. A good drink if you want to drink, you know, light fifty or sixty or something. How's the kids doing, Bernie? How's the kids? You're the, you're the only one on a panel that's got young kids running around. Huh? How old are your kids? Uh, now they're uh, I got to I got to get some new jokes. They're uh, twelve and uh, fourteen. Wow, oh, boy. Yeah, my son, he's uh, been on. He's up. He's on the Xbox above me there. I hear him screaming through the floors any minute now. But... <laughs> Crazy man. He went in a room. He went in a room four months ago. I haven't seen him since. Oh wow! Jesus. You go, so you got two I like boys. Bernie's background today. He's he's got that whole Tim Allen home improvement feel going on. I like it a lot. But yeah, I I didn't have the effort. See, I, I I was facing around. This is the side that I was on the last time. Yes. I yep. finished the basement. I got to finish the other half. <laughs> I like this right here, man. It, it's very yeah. rustic. Oh, yeah, it's got like a whole kidnapped, uh, you know, uh, hostage situation. Well, I just said rustic. I didn't get into abducting people. I'm just talking oh, about understood. You got it. My turtle's in the background, too. You got a turtle? Oh, yeah, the turtle tank. Yeah, I built her a big, big habitat over there. Wow. That's a, that's a mistake if you want to is make it, one. Is it a big turtle? Uh, it's probably about this big now. Yeah, I had one when I was a kid. We found him dead under the radiator. I don't know what happened to him. I think I gave oh him too much sausage. Oh, my goodness. I gave him too much sausage, to Mike. Do you, is it all right to give a turtle sausage? Probably not. I would say no. around the table I think he died. I think I had the only turtle in history that died of high cholesterol. <laughs> you, you want to hear a good one, well, Mike? <laughs> my, my father did that with... Uh, <laughs> Jess, what's that, Bernie? I said, yeah, we hear a good one like that. My father did that. My uh, my sister, she brought home the uh, they did kindergarten. They had a pet, like a class pet. So every weekend they did give it to the you know somebody would take it home to take care of it for the weekend. My father had the thing. My, everybody went to bed. My father's hanging out watching football. He's having a few drinks. He gives the parakeet a little bit of beer. Gives it a little pepperoni. Right, wake up in the morning, it's dead. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> the kindergarten no, the parakeet. parakeet is dead. So now we gotta go find a new parakeet and everything before school on Monday. Get one that's a similar color. So this is a very informative show. You can't give a Don't. parakeet beer and pepperoni, and you can't no. give a turtle sausage. I mean, unless you get a parakeet that can hang. I mean, this one couldn't hang. Maybe he was just weak. You know, I don't know. But. Jessica's laughing. She's shaking her head over there. What's the matter, Jess? We love animals, but we didn't know how to feed them. But we, you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah, We're gonna rename you know, this. Accidents happen. This is. I'm an animal lover. I love animals. Yes. I didn't, you know. I had a dog. I had a dog, Toto, from the Wizard of Oz. He's warm. He looked like Toto. He named him Toto. I used to go to D's Deli and give him sausage and meatballs, and he got yeah. fat and bigger and bigger. I gave him to a friend of mine, and yeah. I went and went and visited him. He lost a lot of weight. So you're not giving him any subs, nothing. He wasn't giving him any sandwiches, nothing. The poor dog was starving. I don't know. I know what you told a lot of jokes about you, which you used to put in those sub submarine sandwiches coming out of the when you used to be skinny, John. Yeah, <laughs> when I used to be skinny. <laughs> but you look great. I'm on a diet. I'm trying. It's not easy. I'm on I a like diet. that shirt you're wearing tonight. I feel Shakes. like I'm ready to get, put a lay on and start doing a hula dance. Yeah, yeah, I like this shirt. I, I look at Cronin. I think he's going to start a campfire any friggin' minute. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. I just I'm look pretty... at you and it's just crazy. I, the, you got to get a different color, like the black. It looks like you're in the woods. Yeah. I'm going to get. I'm going to. I'm going to have. Hopefully, for the next show, 
I'm, I'm going to take a ride down. I believe Joanne's on Mineral Spring. They might have what I want. I want to get a red background. I want to get a red one, purple one, couples, you know, switch them out. I have an I'll, Oriental I'll pick one. you up and we'll go because I'd like to get one too. All right. That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. I'll pick Bernie up and Jay, Jessica, Steve. We'll all get our own backdrops. Yeah. I was going to ask you, That's John, do you? Night. We're going to go to the Rain Mills, and we're going to buy the place out. Well, where are you, Jay? It's an interesting background. Where are you? Uh, I'm actually in my study. That's nice. I'm You're study. I can no, get the books. study-ish. You know who was in their study? Ward Cleaver from Leave it to Beaver. Well, Beaver's the Beaver. You don't look like Ward Cleaver. Well, you know, I look more like June Cleaver with my clothes off, but that's different. <laughs> you do that with the background. How did you get that? What's that? How did you get that background? Like, if you go to your settings in Zoom, if you have the yeah. desktop version, you, it says backgrounds and filters, and you can download a background. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, you're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to tell me how to do that. I have no clue. At I'll first, I thought it was real. Then I said, I don't think Jay Burns owns a marble bust of some Greek guy <laughs> and a ladder to climb up to get his books. Yeah, and a ladder for the second floor. <laughs> That's where I keep all my uh, all is the Latin text is all Steve? up on the second floor there. Is that a fat joke, Steve? Oh, no. he doesn't mean a lot of I would break it. But what I was wondering how you got up the stairs. I get the books. <laughs> every time he goes up there, he sings, I'm every mountain. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't yeah, do that once you're on, because I just tried to do it, but. You can. I can switch mine right now. Yeah, see, Mike, I, Mike I, you. I, you I went from the car in the background. But Mike, you went from like, one corner to the other. You're all over the place. But yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm trying to see if I can put up a virtual background. Yeah, you but should Mike, do that like before the show, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. You, were you were over there, and I were over here. Jay was over here. He's over there. Jess was over there. Bernie was over there. You got everybody I'm, scrambled. Every I'm time I'm all right all next to you, John, and all then over the comes place. Out like that when you post it, and I'm always like looking. I know how like, to do this. Looking like this at everybody, and I'm like way at the bottom of the panel. So I, I don't know. I don't know how this. It always like ends up that way, and people are like, I have you guys like, all at the top. Like of everyone the panel. on the thing. <laughs> so Jess, do you think so far does anybody on this panel, in your your professional opinion, need further help or medication or both? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Everybody? <laughs> and me included, yes. More we all need medication. <laughs> Are you serious, young lady? <laughs> you serious. When I was in rehab, Do you it, itch? I, I was in 2005, <laughs> one, of, one of my rehab stints. Oh, thank God. I went to rehab, and I was kind of driving the doctor crazy. He said, take two of these. you got to calm down. And I, I took two pills, whatever he gave me. I went in the room, laid down. Yeah, I slept for like eight hours. I woke up at night. Like, yeah. yeah, he yeah. knocked me out. The doctor knocked yeah. me out, Jay, because I wanted to get out of the rehab. I get that. I went to bed. It was 1979. I woke up. It was 1994. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did in a rehab? This guy, he was a acupuncturist. So he takes a patient in a room. He leaves his cell phone on a desk. Now we're in the unit. I'm in rehab. I want to call home. We're not allowed to make calls. I go over to the cell phone. He's in the room with another patient. I use the cell phone, call one of my crazy whoever at that time. I use the phone. I put it down. I go in and watch TV. A little while later, the guy comes out. Is anybody here from Providence, Rhode Island? I'm like, oh, shit, he's got me. So I go in and talk to the guy. He goes, did you use my phone? I said, yeah, I'm sorry. I said, look, I got $20 on me. I'll give you the $20. Let's forget it ever happened. He said, okay. Took the 20 and he walked away. <laughs> I'm in rehab. My last $20, the guy, I used his phone. It cost me $20 for the phone. Call. Why is Cronin upside down and all over the place? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You're upside down. You're going all over the joint. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. You <laughs> Step out of your mind. Did my... Jess, where'd you go? This thing. Jess, All of a sudden, I shit up for a minute. like a parrot. <laughs> Why is Cronin <laughs> upside down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That was unbelievable. <laughs> he laughed so hard that my screen froze. On my oh, computer. man. <laughs> Did he just like... I can't wait. I can't wait to play that back. Because I'm trying to think this whole thing out. I'm being, I'm being nice and quiet. Then it's like I'm getting caught by my dad. Why is Cronin upside down? <laughs> John, those pills? I you think you should be them? injected with some medication to calm your body. Oh my goodness, that was Put you beautiful. in a sleeping bag and let you lay down there in the woods. Oh man. <laughs> Jay. That was beautiful. Oh man. I almost passed out from laughing. I, I see that you want uh, your, uh, your face turned red. Blood oh, was my rushing to my head. Crone is just having himself a good old time over there. Because oh. John, John gets very parental with me. Like when he found out that I didn't like horror movies, he leaned into that camera and he said, we've been friends for 30 years. I may have to rethink this friendship. You've got to watch horror movies. Oh, man. You won't get into that because that's a whole other discussion. But the other day I watched Psycho 1, Psycho 2, and Psycho 3. This is retirement. You can watch crazy movies. I love it. And just watched The Shining recently. And I still haven't finished it because I'm never going to finish it from beginning to end. Why? Because it's never, it's like just never going to work out. I was at a, like, it was actually like outside. I was at a fire and it just got like too late and too cold. So we stopped watching it. But I, so I've seen the whole thing in pieces. Like, so I've seen like the ending. I've seen the maze part. I've seen the lady in the bathtub part. I've seen the whole movie, just not from beginning to end. And I really you know want to be able to do that. Yes, that sounds like my first two marriages. I didn't see... <laughs> The whole thing. Yeah, I saw bits and pieces. Yep. I saw her with a roller as I was walking in at four in the morning. Where you been? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Two marriages that were like The Shining. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my marriage is oh. oh, very it's good. Fun and no beer make John go. Oh. <laughs> something. My, my marriages have been. Uh, I I gotta say my my first ex wife. I'll say hello to her. I haven't seen her. While. We we actually get along now. My, I got I got a picture. She worked at a diner before the pandemic. Her and my second ex-wife was now my wife. And they were all sitting there and we took a picture. Well, my, so I had two ex-wives in the picture. At least one bad. wife. Was, at least one wife. That was not expensive one the picture. beginning to the end. That was an expensive picture, Jay. That was almost as expensive as something Steve drew. That's how I can make that happen. <laughs> I have I a went. beautiful Strathmore paper. I can make anything happen. It was a 65 pound pencil. Steve, I want you to draw a picture of me. I'll, I'll do the same face when the judge told me that I'd be paying 1200 a month. <laughs> that was a lot of money, Jess. Uh oh. Our good friend Christy LaFleur. I you saw that on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is beautiful, That's Steven. Awesome. She's coming by to pick it up this weekend. That is absolutely beautiful. You should come by my house. I got a lot of people stopping by doing selfies now. Well, you know what? I got the skeletons <laughs> outside, John. Yeah, and but they, people are coming in and out. The neighbors might look and say, he's got a drug deal going on. It's a drug den. They're going to have the cops investigate you. You got well, people got coming the, in and out of the house. I got the yeah. waiter and, a, and a, I got the dining in Rhode Island outside. I got two skeletons and a mask. One is a waiter. One sitting at a bistro table with a bottle of wine. True story. My neighbor said, there's somebody looking at your display for about about 10 minutes. And then he reached for this bottle of wine, a Shiraz bottle that I put colored water and bleach in. So the sun wouldn't make it look like all kinds of... He took a swig of it. And then he spit it out. And why are you drinking my Halloween display? I'm working on the shed outside in the backyard with my son. This dude shows up a day later and says, hey, you know, that wine you have out there, it, had, it tastes like bleach. I said, yeah, it's on my property. It's fake wine. Next time you come on my property, well, I'll deal with you a different way. And it won't be bleach next time. Steve, I, I can't resist this. Maybe he was trying to kill the virus. It's possible. <laughs> 
I had to get that in, Steve. I know we don't get into politics, but you open the door. Coming. I just wasn't sure where the energy was going to come from, but I felt I felt that it was going to happen. I thought it was going to be Jay, but then it wasn't, and it was and it was you, John. That was that was surprising. You, just, you, I couldn't I resist. you notice I didn't even throw in the political I dig. I was well, good. I know Steve has been being. Yeah, we can do a little dig here and there. You know no, I mean? I'm not. I'm totally not going to do a dig. I'm on the I winning believe. side. There's no need for me to get all the <laughs> Why, go Why are you going to kill me? We're going to have a political show on November 4th. After it's over, we'll discuss who won and why. Because and I said I was on the winning side doesn't mean it was about politics. I'm just on the winning side. I always said you were a winner, Steve. Oh, I'm a winner, all right. Jay Burns will tell you all about it. Yes, I'm a winner. <laughs> I haven't had him up at my bar. You and Brian got to come by. We need a we need a moment. All right. So next time we come by, we come down there and we just sing. That's what we love. We love going we'll do down a Zoom. there and singing. Do a Zoom with John at my house. All right. So I'm That's going to really magical. Jay, Mike, Jay I said Burns. that. We let that bypass us, Stephen. That, that was an idea I had, and you were good with that, to have a Zoom show from the Tiki Bar when the weather was still very warm. We're doing it from the Pirate Bar now. We'll do it from the pirate bar. That was fun. Yeah, we got to do it. We'll have everybody. We'll just act crazy. John yeah, will we'll just uh, appreciate the uh, moment. <laughs> I can act. Je I've Je been Jessica acting crazy. Jessica's nodding her head saying, like, this is not going to happen. I'm well, not no, gonna... I feel like my, so my studio apartment is, like, completely packed with stuff. Like, I don't even have, like, any space on my wall. So, like, my house goal is what Steve is currently currently doing. I just want a house full of crazy stuff and i want to have different like themed rooms and stuff like that that's what i do i love every room is, yep. is 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 a point where i i'm in a new place a new space i love it i love it that's what is that steven over your shoulder what appears to be a lot of small look up what's that big thing over there over here. Over, yep over there but up a little bit they look like a like a like a small stamp collection oh no those are pins Oh, those are pins. Pins. Okay. Okay. Those are my uh, Disney pin collections. Oh yeah. Very yeah cool. I gotta move this like that. I have a whole bunch of pins. You know, when you're a cast member, everybody gave you pins to trade. You wore it on a lanyard, and people would come over to you and trade a pin. You know what you do when you got a good pin? You wouldn't put that on the lanyard. You put it in your pocket. Bring it. Nobody's getting that friggin' pin. And you know they could give you a cheap pin for a good pin. Oh, there's all my pins. Like I saved them. I just went to Disney for the first for the first time in it last year, and uh, that pin thing was nuts. They were everywhere. There people trading them, selling. Oh, I got yeah. thousands of them. Books like they. I went by a thing that was a convention. Got books like this, this thick, full of pins, and you I know, was like, holy, we, holy moly! You know what we call those people? Palooza. Pinheads. We call them palooza's, pin losers. So it comes out palooza's. They're, that's what they went with pinheads, but sure. Call them because that's all they do is they go there and they just pins, 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 pins. Yeah, that's crazy. So those right. are all pins commemorating work that you've done for Disney, Steve. Yeah, that work that I've done. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like badges and Boy Scouts. Commemorate the medals, pins. like in the army. You get a whole oh, thing of them. And you wear yeah, them on you. Oh, yeah. that is very exactly. cool, dude. I never got you a pin for Disney and stuff, and you get one, and then you. I love it. Makes me happy to be in this room. There's not one thing that doesn't make me. Everything it should be. Happen. It should make you happy. You're a very gifted artist. Thank you. Very gifted. You ever look at your pins? I know you're very high in the pins. You ever look at them and put yourself inappropriately, Steve? <laughs> yes, I do. Matter of fact, this is. I, I, you're I in the pirate bar. In my room. You're in the pirate bar. You're drawing a picture. You look at your pins. You start fooling around with yourself. Well, the pirate bar's down the other end, but this is nice. We've got everything. Jessica, we need some there. therapy Eddie fans. Looking at my back. Is that Eddie Murphy? Who's that? Who's that <laughs> next to Eddie Me. Murphy? <laughs> I'm just That's assuming he's into the pins. He does that. Spent is like the an hour shaving his lip. The fawns. Wow! Look at the fawns. I want you to draw Mike Pitt, Mike Cronin as the fawns, and Jay Burns as Richie Cunningham. With that hat, he's got well, to be Indiana Richard. Jones. I like it. I've got to put a whip in his hand. He's got Ber to whip and us. Bernie can be Potsy. <laughs> and Jessica, you could be the sister. I what have no idea. What, what was her name? Did you ever watch Happy Days? Joni. No, Joni. Oh, a couple of times. 
Oh, yeah. Happy Days was good back in the day. That was a good so, show. Mm, so I know it's still on, but yeah, I haven't seen. I, I need a Ralph Mel. Yeah, Mike can be Ralph Mel. Um, Do you know? Hold on, Jay, for one second. Just for one second, I apologize. I'm, I'm going to give the floor back right to you, Bernie. Last week on one of the videos that we did that I put up on YouTube, this woman commented about me saying, the gentleman with the hat looks like Ralph Mouth. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It was so <laughs> funny. Jay, were you going to say something? Well, I was going to say my, one of my favorite things about Happy Days. So there was a spinoff uh, with Joni when she fell in love with Scott Baio's character named Chachi. And so the show was called Joni Loves Chachi. Yes. Uh, so I had a friend that's Vietnamese. And in Vietnamese, Chachi means uh, little boy's penis. <laughs> so Joni Loves Chachi was a very different show in Vietnam. Wow. wow. Yeah. Jesus. Talking about, that's kind of kinky, Jake. But uh, talking that's about. Right. Wait, 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 wait. I love that you're like, that's kind of kinky, Jake. Steve, are you jerking off the pins? I gotta know this. Gotta... <laughs> Come on. John, you're gonna need two more of those pills, hey, I think. You know, what, you know what I remember about Happy Days? I walked into this girl's house. It was our first first date. I walked in her house. I was in like 10th, 11th grade. I was just starting to drive. And her father was the chief for the Cranston Police. God, God bless him. He's still going alive. And uh, so he said to me, where are you taking my, my daughter tonight? And Happy Days was playing in the background. He says, where are you taking my daughter tonight? I said, to a movie, sir. He said, what movie? I said, the other side of the mountain. He said, you better keep my daughter on this side of the mountain. I <laughs> shit my pants, Jess. <laughs> I love it. I went and saw the movie. I took her home, kissed her goodnight, and that was it. With shit in your uh, pants? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with shit in my pants. Yeah, I can't deal with a police chief. She was a nice, nice girl, but that, was, that, that shook me up. You know what I mean? Okay. That can't be nerve wracking. Yes. You need to just show you a gun or something like that. <laughs> wow, you Jake? have a lot of stuff out on that shelf behind you there, Bernie. I like the Ferris wheel. What's on the Ferris wheel? Oh, that's a uh, Playmobil. I, uh, you have a house basement with all things that make you happy. I'm sitting down here with a couple, like, underneath a sea of toys that my kids don't play with anymore. <laughs> so, I have uh, a big yacht I have a big yacht sale. I'd like. I live on a dead end street. I'm mostly giving the stuff away to people, but what I know. What kind of toys? What kind of toys you got? That's all kinds. I got. Uh, I probably got about fifty thousand dollars worth of Legos in a box. Uh, a box this big, Legos are freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I got Playmobil and uh, books and can't even give stuff away. Can't give books away. Can't give anything. But. Well, you got you a gonna white Power Ranger, Ranger over there? White Power Ranger? Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Any blow up dolls or anything like that? I got a bin of baby shoes. Like, like, <laughs> my wife's very sentimental, you know. She like <laughs> yes. all the time. She keeps all this stuff. You know, she gets she's getting full, but now she wants to give stuff away. But she wanted to keep all the things for the kids. She had a bin of baby shoes. So I said, Jesus, just you know, you know, you know who keeps a bin of baby shoes? She says, Yeah, a loving mother who cherishes memories. I said, No, a serial killer. A serial killer keeps a bin of baby shoes in the house. You're gonna find that thing. You're gonna be the baby shoe killer. I'm going to put you up on a newspaper. Is that why now you're in the basement because you said that to her or what? So this is where I, this is where I live now. Bernie, <laughs> you are, you are the real life Murray Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in they my underwear about, and everything. They did a whole episode about that where Beverly had the garage filled with all the kids' toys and sentimental stuff and she wouldn't part with it. It was hilarious. Oh yeah, but, and that's good though. My my mother was the opposite. She would give it. She gave like I, I left to go to go to college, and she gave me all my baby <laughs> pictures and any memories she had of me. She said, "Here, take all this crap and get out of here." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll see you around. I didn't have a bed three weeks later. I didn't even know, come back. Go come back. Jeez. She changed man. the locks and bought a dog. That was it. <laughs> that was it, huh? Yeah, that was it. I'm, I'm thinking. Got, I'm thinking. What do you got, Jay? What do you got, Jay? I was just gonna say, at least Bernie, you have a solution for Halloween. Instead of having to buy candy, just give away toys. I'm thinking of buying candy. That'd be huge, Bernie. You'd be a hit. I got a whole <laughs> trunk of toys right now. I saw some kid on the street with a skateboard, and I, for a split, you're not thinking straight. I was gonna, you know what? I'm gonna pull over, and give this kid a box of toys. I'm yeah. like, yeah, that. That's a short way to wind up in jail. 
And he had a female comedian who part of her jokes was about those toys. But uh, there were different toys. I'm sorry. I got I'll tell you, Bernie, I'm not joking. All kidding aside, if you want to move them, I can I, I can move every single one of them. My dear friends, Deb and, uh, Deb and Doug Rushworth, they have a ministry reaching for the fringe. And every year at Christmas, they're looking for toys for the needy children. I can I move every single one of them. Sure. I've been giving them to uh, Gifts to Give in New Bedford. There's a place there that they, they give gifts. But if you got a play, I'll give them. They want to. Uh, They'll come and pick them up here? and everything. Well, Done. Just, are, are you in Rhode Island? I'm in, oh, I'm in Somerset near Fall River, which is pretty much it's the same you thing. you got to save minutes. some of those toys for Danuccio. I want Danuccio to have some toys with the friends. Only if it has Mickey Mouse or anything Disney. Anything I Disney. I have rules. No. <laughs> Steve, do you ever have uh, nightmares at Disney? Anything crazy? I, not often, but um, yeah, I I I know I, I I'm pretty much the Disney aholic. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> See, I went there twice, and all I remember was waiting in line, long lines for everything, and I, I wasn't, you know, I mean, maybe I went at the wrong time, but I. Well, John. I John, wouldn't go you know again. What Disney, Disney and Viagra have in common, right? You wait an hour for a two minute ride, right? <laughs> oh, be here all week, kids. <laughs> Jay Burns. My favorite is is how long it took that joke to get to Mike. Like it went through all of us, and then like two and a half minutes later, he's like, "Oh, yeah." Well, they don't. They don't <laughs> call him. As, I'm being polite. That's why I'm giving others a shot at it. If no one's gonna take a swing at it, I'm gonna say I'll step up. They don't call him Grampy Mike for nothing. That's uh, right, baby. I knew him when he was young, long hair. Now he's a nice elderly man. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Mike. But that I'm the same it. age, so I'm a nice elderly man too. Right, we're both 62. Stevens, what? Would you say you are? You're 64, Steven? 64, yes. 64. So we, we are the elders on the panel. Sure. Jessica, you're still in your 20s, right? No, Jessica. thank you. But thank you're you. Not? I'm going to be 32 next month. Oh, really? 32. Two, huh? Wow, I, I got 30 like, years I on you, Jess. Like, I thought you were like 25. Yeah, she kind of looks like she's in her 20s. Oh, stop it. Well, I, last year, I looked like I was you. Old, so we aged a bit. Yes. Yeah, I guess how old I am next. <laughs> <laughs> I would, say, I, I would say Bernie's like 43. Ooh, close. Thank you. I'm a 40. I'm 40. Did you say 40? Very close. Like right there. I'll say 47. 46. 46. 46. All right, John. Yeah. You were right there. I wasn't too far off. I said 45. I was Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you and Steve were right. Same church. Actually, pretty much in the same pew. Now it's turned into the price is right. There we go. That's it, man. That's <laughs> it. No, Keep the closest, I, but not going over. I thought of you, Jay Burns, today. I had a customer. Her name was Imogene. I oh, said, oh, no way. I, honest oh. to God. I, she, said, uh, she said, what's your name? She didn't see my tag. I said, Stephen. She said, you're always funny. I always like coming here. She said, oh, my name is Imogene. I says, are you a nun? And she said, what? What made you say that? <laughs> I said, I knew a sister named Imogene. <laughs> She said, <laughs> I said, yeah, she comes to my house often. <laughs> I Those said, you know, really thin ham. Jay Burns' character, the nun. Oh, the I Imogene. love that character. Yeah, him and Brian Vincent go to town. I love that character. Anytime we have, uh, we have dropped Stephen's property values by showing up as an old lady oh, yes. at the nun. My neighbor still <laughs> thought that, that Brian was my mother. I said, I, my mother died three years ago. And she said, oh, I'm sorry. I said, she said, who is that old lady? I said, that's my friend, uh, Brian. She's that actually in the guy, front said, right now drinking bleach. It's wonderful. It's <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have rolled up to Stephen's house as Grandma Martha and Sister Imogene yes. got and out and went in for all the neighbors to see. And yeah. they didn't even have a gig. They sat at my bar, and Imogene is smoking a cigar with, uh, <laughs> with Brian. And then he said something like, this is like a Vatican. And I just said, ah, you're going to go there. <laughs> Boy, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna, you could screw up a joke, Steve. You're going to screw that up, aren't you? I'm not going to oh. touch it. It's not my joke. It, none of them are. Um, so, no, it was a, we did a video. And it was Sister Imogene and Martha are smoking cigars. And it, uh, Martha looks at him and he goes, Sister, you're smoking a cigar? 
And the Imogene looks at the camera and goes, Ash Wednesday. <laughs> wow. <laughs> tell, tell one of the sisters jokes there. You got one you can dig up? I don't, I have, they're all long ones. They're long, long ones. Well, we got time. All right, I'll give you one. All right, so here's one of my favorite ones. So uh, one day this cannibal is walking, yeah, one day this cannibal is walking down this path and he sees uh, another cannibal. And the other cannibal looks at him and goes, Dave, you look awful. What's wrong? The guy goes, oh, I got to be honest. We just started eating these Christian missionaries, and I don't know, something doesn't sit right when I eat them. <laughs> he goes, really? He says, well, how are you cooking them? He goes, well, we just put them in a big pot, some salt, pepper, carrots, potatoes, a little bay leaf, nothing special. He goes, really? He goes, well, what do they look like? He goes, oh, fat things, and no hair on top, we'll just circle hair on the bottom, brown robes. He goes, well, there's your problem. You're cooking them all wrong. Those are fryers. Oh, <laughs> how can we go on from there, Jess? I don't know if you can see it, but this is what it looked like when they showed up. The check-in is imploding. Oh, this oh is wow. Look God. at that. Look at that. That is classic. You know what I'll do, Mike? I'll post, I'll post the commercial on your page. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Grandma, Martha, Brian Vincent, and Jay Francis. We Brian. had a lot of fun. We actually had to run across the street with Grandma Martha because, like, we were crossing Grandma. the street and a car was coming, so we had to run. So Grandma Martha was – do you remember that? Do you remember that, Jay, when we were leaving that show in Moonsocket and the guy's, like, driving by, like, looking at – like, because he's looking at me like I'm running across the street with an <laughs> – <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yes <laughs> the weirdest part of Winsocket too because it's a Masonic Lodge that we were walking out of that's across the street from a KFC that's right next to Chan's Chinese Jazz Place so you see this you see Jess with a nun and an old lady walking in this weird little dark alley area and it's like okay I think the cars were all parked underneath the train tracks yes yes yeah it was all kinds of fishy. Yep. Yep. But the guy in the car, the look on his face was priceless. That I wish that I could get like, I wish that you could go back and like get a picture of certain moments. And that was definitely one of them. Well, what, I, what cracks me up about Grandma Martha, when Brian does the Grandma Martha, he goes all out. I mean, he finished his show. He was ready to leave. He had the plastic can, uh, kerchief. <laughs> Tied himself, had a pocketbook, and he's getting in his car to drive away. He had the, he had every ensemble an old lady would carry with her, and he's leaving the place. You would have thought he'd go to the men's room or the ladies' room and disrobe. No, yeah, leaving with the plastic hair. <laughs> we are a bunch of nuts in this I, business. I gotta say, getting into comedy, I love it because I met so many good, crazy people over the years. I've had fun with all you guys and gents, and we've had so many laughs. It's been, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a ride when you get into comedy in, uh, in Rhode Island. We've had a lot of fun. That's <laughs> always we've been the best of part of these open mics and everything else all the years, me, John. Always, it's like, just to go out on a third Tuesday or a Thursday, and people say, well, what do you do? I said, you go there, you have no idea what's going to happen. You don't know who's going to show up. You don't know what's going to happen. That's the I, best part. So yeah, I never remember... Know. I remember one time, maybe five, five, six years ago, at the pub on Park, right after the open mic, uh, Dennis Mello and I are sitting there having a beer together, just chit-chatting, and this guy comes in, crazy, crazy guy, has a mohawk, and uh, he was just being a, a maniac, just yelling at people, just spouting stuff off, and a friend of mine who's a biker, he's passed away, his name was Bear, he's a big, big, big guy. Uh, this amazing biker guy, but he was also a minister. And I'll never forget this. Dennis and I, Dennis and I have, an, have a beer in our hand, and the minister guy looks at the crazy guy at the Mohawk, grabs him by the hand, grabs him on the neck, and the guy falls to the ground. He starts to pray over him, starts to, to say, and so we literally, and he starts to sort of excise demons out of this guy. And I, all I could think was, Dennis, this could only happen at the pub on park. Yeah. This would never happen in any other open mic, in any other place, <laughs> any other time. Only the pub on park. It was the most magical thing in the world. Crazy. <laughs> we had a lot of good times over there. Now we're, All the now we're performing in an aquarium when you go there. We got glass in the front, glass on the side. I saw pictures. 
Crazy, Steve. Crazy. The world now, my friend. It's the world. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not ready to adapt to the social distancing for comedy. I'm not ready for that. Maybe someday I will be, but not ready, Jess. Are you? No, I don't think so. Well, I don't even have the time with like work and everything that's going on. Like, I don't even like. I feel like if I went out to something, I would like feel like I'm going to be on edge the whole time or I feel like I would like not be enjoying it because I'd be like I have to wake up super early tomorrow to do 50 billion things but like but I do miss the pub on park though like seriously but I remember John one night you came up to me at the pub on park and you were like you were like I'm leaving I gotta go I was like what's, what's the matter you were like I can't take it anymore I can only do this for so long <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I know it's my mic but I gotta go I was like <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, and all me, and I was like, I gotta go. I got it. I was, oh I Steve's, it Steve's got it go. right now. Steve's taking care of it. I'm I know. On a, a leave of I absence. Been a lot of writing, though. That's what's been nice about like this time, and like I've been able to like do a lot of writing and like you know clean up some stuff because I want to like change my material around a little bit. So I'm like excited about that. But I yeah. totally forgot my act. I looked at some videos. I'm like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> I got seven more. I haven't been on stage in seven months, Jay. I, I'm just, I'm just looking at Mike Cronin, who apparently someone's tickling Mike because he keeps doubling over in laughter. I have a serious case of the giggles throughout this whole show. I should get an award for containing myself because every now and then I just keep hearing John saying, "Why is Cronin upside down?" I, <laughs> you know what, Mike? Next time you and I are together at the bar. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take your phone. I'm gonna record me going, Rada, why is Mike groaning upside down? <laughs> and you're gonna put it your ringtone. So whenever someone calls you, all you're gonna go, Rada, why is Mike groaning upside down? Because yeah. if, if I remember correctly, he said, first he said, why is Cronin bouncing all around? <laughs> he said, why is Cronin upside down? <laughs> And, and I look at that point, and whatever I was doing, I was, I was busting around. <laughs> How the hell did you do that? I couldn't go upside down on this if I wanted to. I tried. Well, Jay, I had asked Jay about the virtual background, so then I said to myself, oh, you're in the wrong place. Go here for it. So I did, and I stopped now Let's playing. try in the middle of the show, so you can go upside down. That's cool. <laughs> but your reaction... It was beautiful and all throughout the show. Forget Mike. John Parada wants perfection. He doesn't I want to be. Does. We're, lucky. We're lucky we're not canceled at this point, Steve. Oh, <laughs> we don't man. even have ratings and we're going to get canceled. We That's don't even have our is. ratings and yet we're canceled. <laughs> yeah, that was the one. I don't think anything. It's Thursday, so we still got a couple of days, but I don't think anything's going to top that. Funny wise or fun wise to me. Why is Cronin upside down? We'll call this the upside down episode. Oh my goodness gracious. Bernie, I think he needs medication. And I've been trying to hold it in. I feel like a kid in church that's got the giggles. And leave it to, leave it to a nun, Sister Imogene, to blow my spot up. Hey, it's not the first time I've done it. I don't know oh, if I would use man. all of system imaging in the same sentence. Oh, man. No, hey, what are you drinking today, Jessica? I don't see your Bouncing truly. off the walls, sister imaging, um, <laughs> steamboat willy medication episode. Hey, uh, yeah. Jessica, you drinking your Trulies? I don't see it today. No, not tonight. I just have uh, water with lemons and limes. I know. Is that, is like, that permissible? Well, because I noticed that, like, sometimes, like, when I drink, I can't sleep very good. So, like, I want to be able to, like, sleep tonight. So, I'm like, oh. But I don't know. I know that that's weird. Like, every no. time I drink, though, I sleep like crap. No, it's true. It depends on how your body reacts. But a lot of, especially with the Trulies, I think they have a little caffeine in them, even though they say they don't have any. Oh. Cause I used to have that with like, um, like a lot of those non beer beers, like, you know, Mike's Hard Lemonade and Zima and all those. I think they have something else. It's like a, a, a an upper. Um, and I used to sleep like crap every time I would drink them. The key when you drink, cause I'm an ex drinker. At the end of your drinking is go get four Oneville New York system hot weenies, Aurora fries, 
and a BLT extra mayo. You down those with a coffee milk, you will sleep. Guaranteed. And if you, and oh if you don't, God. you're gonna crap your pants for the next two days. <laughs> I love I love the New York system. You know, I haven't had some. I haven't had some in three weeks, uh, three months. I mean, six. What did I say? Three months, almost a year. I'm sorry, almost a year. Jeez. I haven't been getting me. I miss him. I, oh, miss I, him. Text, I meant to text John, you and Mike today, because my girlfriend made me a, a fall curry with tofu. Yeah. And okay. I was like, I'm gonna blow their minds. They've never had anything like this before. No. I know that for a fact. Jay, a girl. How long have you been dating this girl? We had the, we, I've been with her since. Well, we've been really together since November, but we've known each other since since last summer. Now, when I went into the sunny side to see Brian one day, there was a girl next to you. Was that her? Uh, blonde. I met this girl of yours. She, she was kind of young, young looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's v she's very she's pretty, Jay. I give my approval. I'm glad. Yes. No, no. Yeah. I wish you the best. I, you get married, have Steve Zanuccio dressed as Steamboat Willie, and he can officiate over the ceremony. Over the ceremony. Actually, I'm going to have Bernie do it with a couple of Coors Lights. We're, actually, no, we're going to have Miller High Life because it's a champagne of beer. If, if you invite Bernie to the wedding, he's probably going to bring six points for a gift. That's it. That's fine. Uh, right, you could have uh, Mrs. Mata's the maid of honor. Exactly. That's what I'm hoping for. There or the go. flower child. <laughs> How about Mike Cronin in the back of the church with the backdrop when he's in the woods? Mike's, Mike Cronin's going to be there. Upside down. Laughing, laughing Mike, upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Mike's going to be there as our sign language interpreter. Oh. Um, I know he doesn't sign, but at least he can yell loud enough for everyone to hear. <laughs> so there's that. You know, we yeah, had, we're going to put him right next to Mike Murray. So the whole time he's like, oh, my God. God. We have had more fun than really is legally possible tonight. With all this going on in this world, yes. you guys have taken me out of my life for one hour, and I actually feel all right. I actually feel all right. I may not need medication after all of this. No. Sometimes, sometimes laughter is the best medicine. This is why the weekly check-in is, is a, it was Jessica's idea. It's a great idea. We come on here. It's therapy. Hopefully therapy for the people that watch. <laughs> And you know what I mean? Yeah. We're helping the world get better. I like going to therapy and all on this. It's if anything, I I just contribute to the to the disaster and the, exactly. and the fun. Everyone that watches this afterwards is like, oh, thank God my life isn't that bad. Oh, <laughs> Listen, we gotta we gotta wrap it up, kids, because we could go. Jay Bird, what are you gonna say to wrap it up? It's been a great show. I've had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Who me? Yeah, what are you going to say to wrap it up tonight, Jay? While you're doing I, I that, I want Cronin I want Cronin upside down when I get to him for the wrap-up. Jay, what are you going to say? I love all of you. I'm the only. I'm sad I can't do a Bernie Parati impression. That's the only thing I'm sad about. Well, you got to work on that. i got to work on it, yeah. Bernie's sure. a tough one to nail. He's a tough he one. Is, he is. He is yes. tough. But, Jay, yeah. we love I having you on. You're a lovable okay. nun. You're I love you all. You're a great man. I wish you and your girlfriend well. I and. Know. uh He's Bring her over to Denucho's next time with the with Brian and uh, just when he gets near the buttons, keep her away from him. Yeah, exactly. Steve Denucho, what are you gonna say to wrap it up, you baloney slicing, tooth, <laughs> tooth making, drawing, sketching, you baloney slicing, budget galoop. I don't know. Every time I every time I look at Mike Cronin out upside down, I think he's Grandpa from uh, the Monsters upside down or something. <laughs> <laughs> now I messed it up. I can't get myself back. We got you. We didn't lose you yet. You found the time to get upside down. Bernie Parati, I love you, man. From Somerset, Mass. Oh, yeah. Many open mics together. Many shows together. What are you gonna say to wrap it up with all the toys? What are you gonna say? I think like let me see if I can let me see if I can get this background thing right. Let me see if I can do this right. <laughs> Bernie, what's going on over there? Is that did it work? <laughs> <laughs> is, the, is the background better? It's like we're in a forest. I think, right? I think is that Bernie's an owl? Are you an bird. owl, Bernie? I love owls. That's you look like an owl, right? Oh, I, yeah. I got a bag of masks. I ordered masks on Amazon. I they sent me the wrong. I got there. I got a koala bear. I, uh, what the hell he sent me? I think John. That's the first time <laughs> we got the bird on the friggin' on the on these shows. The first time. <laughs> first time we had a bird. 
Cronin. We got the bird. Upside down, but uh, you can't do it. I'm back. I'm I'm back to my uh to my, to my normal self here. This man, this show. I've had more fun. This this was an absolute. This is going to sound corny, but it was a barrel of laughs. The word of God tells us he will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy, Job 8.21. And today, man, I, I haven't laughed that hard in probably two weeks or better. I mean, that was just, John, you, I love you so much. And you are the way Why is crowded upside down? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Stephen, it was great hanging out with you. Bernie, great to see you again. Jessica, as always, love you. Great hanging out with you, Jay. I love you dearly. You I pray God's favor over each and every one on the panel, those watching at home. God bless you all. Beautiful, Mike. Jessica Lee, the weekly check in. It's a wrap now. We've got another week. You've helped more comedians try to get sane. We really appreciate you coming on. She does this free of charge for the comics here with the Comedy Factory. Jess, what are you going to say to wrap this uh, crazy show up? I think ah. we're going to have an extra check-in with Mike. <laughs> I know, huh? You know what you should do, like Steve said, have him go into the office, have him upside down like Grandpa Munster, and you can talk to Mike while he's upside down. Oh, I, I do have something that, so now everybody knows that if any guy wants to take me on a date, they got to talk to Steve about making me a dark side of the moon Wizard of Oz picture. So if a guy shows up with the Wizard of Oz and the dark side of the moon and gives you that <laughs> gift, you'll, you'll go out on a, on a dinner date with him? It depends on who it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the picture? So in other words, if yeah, it's I'm Jeffrey sad. Dahmer, if it's Jeffrey Dahmer, it's no go. No. Yeah, that's not good. He'll eat the neighborhood. That's not a good thing. <laughs> He'll eat the neighborhood. <laughs> if it's Jack no, Nicholson from The Shining going through the maze, you won't, you won't go with him? Anthony nope. Kirk in Psycho? Nope, nope. Or if they have Bernie's basement, then no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new that's... sequel. Bernie's basement. I like that. Hey, you guys have been great. <laughs> Jess, always great with the weekly check-in. It was just as I did. Back in May, she said, let's do a weekly show, a weekly check-in. And we've been doing it since, what, the end of May. And we've been having a lot of fun. And now you're Love doing 90 all... Zoom shows a week. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Now, I'm a zoom -a -hole. I know. My name is John. I'm a zoom -a -hole. I can't help <laughs> myself. These, these are too much fun. I have a ball. Everybody, stay healthy. And God bless. And uh, I hope your politician wins. We won't get into politics. Good luck, whoever you like in uh, politics. And uh, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Stay healthy. Jay Burns. Take care, John. Take care, everybody.